A very good evening to all the participants here today. Project Excellence Youth Empowerment is a project organized by the Leo Club of Colombo Downtown Alliance with the collaboration of Leo Club of Union. Leo Club of Colombo Banak, Leo Club of Colombo Catamaran, Leo Club of Colombo Grand City, Leo Club of Markola, Leo Club of Atukalpura, and Leo Club of Dharmapala Vidya. Youth empowerment is the process where children and young people are encouraged to take charge of their lives. The main objective of this project is to encourage young generation to grow up and improve their skills. In order to achieve our goals, we have organized six webinars and today we are here to step into the second webinar organized by the Excellence Youth Empowerment Project team. The webinar today is mainly focused on relationship building. To commence this program, let me take the pleasure of inviting Leo Chanuka Pereira, the president of Leo Club of Nigambu Catamaran, to welcome our guests and participants of today's evening by delivering the welcome address. Thank you, Leo. Good evening, my dear clients, Leos, and guests. I am blessed to welcome for today's webinar of excellence, where we are going to learn about ability to teach and mentor in this beautiful evening. I would like to warmly welcome our guest speaker, the Shamanian Lion Dr. Jivanta Pereira, MJF, MAF, LCIP, JP, who is currently is a district cabinet secretary for the fiscal year 2021-2022 of Lions District 6 B1. And our special guest for the night is District Presidents of 306B1 and 306C2, Leo Minoli Pereira and Leo Hasindu Maharagi. We are gathered here to witness the excellence of a project organized by Leo Club of Downtown Alliance 306B2. Excellence is a project which comes under youth empowerment, which will continue for six months with six different categories. Leo Club of Downtown Alliance hosts the project along with the support of seven other MOOC clubs which is namely Leo Club of University of Colombo Alumni 306A1, Leo Club of Colombo Monarch 306A2, Leo Club of Negambo Catamaran 306B1, Leo Club of Grand City 306B2, Leo Club of Makola 306B2, Leo Club of Atugalpura 306C1, Leo Club of Pandipiti Dharmapala College 306C2. So my dear audience, let's get ready to be excellent with excellence. Thank you. Thank you, Leo Chanaka Pereira, for that warm As for the next event in the agenda, I would like to invite Leo Prabhavi Ratnaika to introduce our guest speaker of today's event. Thank you. A brief profile of Lion Dr. Jeevan Pereira, LCIP Sri Lanka. He holds a doctorate in business administration from University of Wales and master's in business administration from Cardiff Metropolitan University, London, United Kingdom. He is a proud product of Royal College, Colombo 7, Sri Lanka. Further, he holds seven diplomas in different fields in management and leadership to be an experienced international trainer. He has been awarded memberships from many professional and educational bodies from Sri Lanka, United Kingdom, Malaysia, and India, proving his qualifications in professionalism. He is an experienced corporate trainer, youth development guide, power parenting coach, motivational speaker, and also a visiting lecturer to many organizations, institutions, and governments and private universities. He has been awarded with six Lions International President's Appreciation Certificates, four International President's Medals, and Lions International Leadership Medals for his Leostic Year, uh, Leostic achievements in addition to many recognitions and awards in district and multiple district level. Further, he was honored as Lion of the Year in 2017 to 2018 and the most outstanding new advisor, advisor for two consecutive years in 2017 to 2018 and 2018 to 2019. He was recognized by Lions Club International for his consecutive role um, 
continuous role as new club advisor for five consecutive years. He was awarded at the multiple district conventions for six consecutive years for having conducted highest number of leadership development programs in MD3 North 6 Sri Lanka. He was graduated from DLLI, RLLI, ALLI, FDI, SWTTI, and CWTIEL. Further, he was qualified as a Lions International Certified Instructor, which is the highest qualification in Lions leadership training, becoming the one of the only two Sri Lankans holding LCIP qualification. Further, he is a Melvin Jones Fellow and a Mahendra Amaraswarya Fellow. He is an experienced faculty member of the LLI, RLLI, ELLI, ALLI and a large number of online programs and workshops for lions and non-lions in Sri Lanka, India, Nepal, and Africa. Let me invite Melvin Jones Fellow, Lions International Certified Instructor, Lion Dr. Jeevanta Pereira. Thank you. Thank you, Leo Prabhavirat Naika. We are pleased to have Deshamanya Lion Dr. Jeevanta Pereira with us today. Dear sir, we now request you to address the gathering and share your expertise knowledge with us. Thank you very much. Uh, I think I'm, I'm audible. Yes, yes. Thank you very much. It's a superb introduction. Thank you very much, my dear. And also, I, I love to see a very energetic young crowd is there. But unfortunately, all, all, all cameras are off. Uh, um, and uh, it is a great session that uh, the topic is really good, relationship building. Uh, can I share my screen uh, if you quit this uh, screen? Right, yes. Okay, uh, right. right. Right now I see all beautiful faces, uh, photos of... Uh, of uh, I I'm not blessed to have their faces seen here in this session. I love if I can see their faces, but the bandwidth is their data has been taken a lot if the camera is on. Anyway, it's a challenge for me to look up only on the cam camera and, and talk to you all. Why it is needed your cameras is on is not because of anything. Today we are going to talk to you all on relationship building. Yes, relationship building. So in order to make the relationship building, we should see each other. If we don't see each other, how we are going to build the relationships? Still, we will move to the uh, session, my dear friends. Uh, it's building positive relationship. I, I, I rather wanted to add, a, add a, another, another word into the presentation topic. Today I added it, it's, it should be, relationships should be positive. But with relationship that we are incurring uh, has to be positive. So let me uh, first uh, go in through a small uh, exercise. I, I wish uh, all of you all would use the uh, chat in order to give the answer. So no need of a calculator. You are driving a bus from point A to point G. In point A, 17 people get onto the bus. In point B, uh, point B, six people get off and nine people get on. In point C, two people get off and four people get in. In point D, 11 people get off and 16 people get on. And in point E, three people get off and five people get in. In point F, six people get off and three get in. You then arrive at point G. So it's a journey from point A to G. This is the, uh, the real story from point A to G. Right, my first, I, I'm going to ask you two questions. <clears throat> but first question is, how many places bus was stopped? How many places bus was stopped? How many places bus was stopped? 
I need the answers uh, in the chat. Yes, uh, Sitija Netpina says five places. And Yoshini says seven places. Prasid and Chanuka say seven places. Pasan says it's a different uh, answer, but has not stopped anywhere. Uh, Sitija, uh, sorry, six. Uh, then uh, I think uh, he previously answered that's five, now says six. Who is this? Uh, then another answer is uh, five. Anjali, Anjali says seven. <coughs> Anjali Subhashini says seven. Chamal says six. Santosh says five. Good. Out of 82. Nine has responded. Eleven has responded. Vishnu says six. Saman Ashoka Mendes says six. <coughs> right. So the next question is, what was the name of the bus driver? this is one. What was the name of the bus driver? Mandira, Kavisha, you, Surin says you. No other answers. Dhanja say you. Who is you? <laughs> Supun says you. It's me. I was on the bus driver, you and I don't have the bus driver in license. Supun says you, Dhananjaya says you. <coughs> Anonymous. Yes, Roshani. You are driving. Yes. It is not anonymous, actually. It says you are driving. So, so basically, if, if I tell it to you, it means that you are driving the bus. Thank you very much, uh, friends. Uh, it is really nice uh, of relationship building is something that you have to have a free mind in order to understand what it is. Even just before that time, uh, going through this uh, session, almost 85 participants, youths are there in this forum. Uh, what is important is have your free mind. Don't take any predetermined decisions. I know some of you had did the calculation of how many people uh, were in the bus at the time of bus stop at point G. So, uh, because uh, uh, through the numbers were rolling over, you, you thought definite the question would be the number. The, what was the last uh, number in the bus? Bus ke anti matam kiya the iturune. Ki the ne the iturune ke lo kum the na vedi the ne mandar na himite gana ka thane the wasting time sometimes. So, uh, number one, we should not go for predetermined decisions when we are going for relationship building, whether it is your partner or your fiance or your girlfriend or boyfriend or your relationship with your mother or father, with your teacher or master or lecturer or, or, or moderator uh, or facilitator. So it is, it is obviously, it is all of us actually, all of us. Host, uh, please mute uh, somebody's microphone is disturbing. So keep your devices muted, my dear. So what is really important is uh, uh, 
uh, it is, uh, yes, who has told each of us? Yeah, Santosh says, Santosh uh, Bala says, each of us. Right, this looks like, yes, very good. Uh, the, your way of thinking, very creative thinking that I really respect. Some of your answers are very good. Uh, so we, we looks like <laughs> that we, are, we each of us drive in the bus. It's uh, like the life uh, journey. Right, uh, because this exercise is not, not, not because of anything, only thing that I wanted to have icebreaker and uh, you can probably see the bus has stopped in seven places, including the place they stop, start up, but somebody can would say it is only at two locations. They stopped at the, uh, they, it was stopped at the place it uh, started and it went and at the point G it is stopped, then two locations. Somebody might say that it has stopped to get in and get off uh, from each bus fault, then the, each location, then from the starting point to the end point, all seven. Somebody says the starting uh, is uh, not the stop, but it is the beginning. So then stopping places are six. So the number is not in material, but the material is your attentive focus without any predetermined decisions. So if you want to build relationship, number one lesson before I'm going to the session, it is really important that we understand uh, the basic of uh, relationship building for relationships. It is really important we start the relationship without any predetermined decisions. Puro nikamana valin thora sambandha tha godana ka geni masandhaau gamanak. That is really important. So here, look, uh, my dear friends, I like to have a lot of interactions. That's that I wanted, if possible, to keep your cameras on, but no issue. But at least start chatting. No harm, because I really love some of you, six, seven of your names still now, right now, I can remember their names also, because they are really active in the presentation, in the presentation. That's how the relationship build, relationship build. So end of the day, if uh, somebody can remember you, that's the relationship. Yes. Uh, you all, I, I, I presume that you all can see my screen. Yes, awesome. sir, we can. Right, yes. right. Okay. You can disturb me at any moment and ask questions. That is not a problem. But only thing, uh, other disturbances only has to be curtailed. Right. So positive relationship, just, just a simple question, which, which I, what I wanted to ask is, you can respond to this. How do positive relationships make you feel? What are the what is the feeling that you get when it when it is come to a positive relationship? Whatever feeling that you got on your life experience, I told many relationship. It's from mother to child, it's from t class teacher to the student, it is from a friend to friend, uh, maybe girlfriend to boyfriend, maybe the boss to the employee, uh, maybe. Uh, the, the service providers, uh, maybe a shop owner, shopkeeper to the uh, customer, uh, happy and calm, Oshadi, uh, then Dasuni, happy and satisfied, Raj, uh, what is the other name? It cannot be seen. You feel valued. Someone also says happy. Someone also comment this. I can't see it is Raquel. You feel value, yes. Supun Vikrama Singh, happy. Jessica, comfortable to mingle with. Santosh, feel as a long ago born. Very beautiful. I would see that this I, uh, it feels freedom. It's simple and happy. Who says simple and happy? I just like this. It's a teacher. It's pronounced or uh, re, re, Rachel. Am I am I correct? <laughs> Please excuse me. Somebody has raised hand. Unmute and speak. Feels positive. If any of you, uh, uh, please excuse me if I have mispronounced, my dear. Jerome says, feel positive. Uh, 
Rachel, Rachel, extremely sorry, Rachel. <coughs> uh, feel positive. Shashika Lakshan, Shashika Lakshan says, happy, yes, even with the beautiful heart, yes. Happy and faithfully, been beyond, peace and happy. Yes, you pronounce correct. Yes, yes, Rachel. Thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. How do positive relationships make you feel? We feel happy, we feel comfortable. Yes, President, you also feel comfortable. Yes, it's uh, peace in mind. Uh, uh, inspirational, yes. Who says peace of mind and inspirational? Uh, I'm looking at the shortest version. Let me check down. Uh, Richard Sarah, yes. President Chanuka says comfortable. Yoshini Galabada says peace of mind, inspirational. Yes, yes, very good. Very nice of you all. Very creative. An unbrokable bond to Santosh Bala. I call you Bala because I love uh, the, that pronunciation. Yes, Santosh, thank you very much. How do positive relationships make you feel that all of you are correct, my dear friends? We feel very comfortable. We, we feel that we belong and we, we love to be uh, in a relationship. Uh, that's, that's we all are. That's what we are. How do positive relationships make others feel? That is also the same. Eh? The same feeling what we get is also related to the other person. That's how the relationship goes on. That is nothing big. Why do you want positive relationship with others? That is the crucial thing. As you said, the experience is what we get is actually basically end result is happiness. What is the purpose of our life? Our purpose of our life, the purpose of our life is happiness. The issue is how we are going to identify the happiness. My dear young girls and boys, friends, the mistake is the, the way that we are going to get happiness. We, everyone, all of us have focus, all of us are focusing on to have happiness in our life. Sometimes we build negative relationships, have negative relationships, and then we regret. And, and we sometimes take wrong decisions in our lives. So what is important is building positive relationships. I, I rather... Uh, used to tell my age somebody if somebody asked my age I used to say my age is 24 but uh, after 24 of my age my uh, uh, birth certificate age was stopped so what after that counts was I call it after 24 my age is uh, with experience so the age is 24 then the years of experiences count that's why I look at life and so relationship matters for the success only on uh, the not only on the uh, talents not only uh, to overcome the challenges it's obviously relationship matters to overcome challenges. Sometimes get, get some support, get some advices, even to get some satisfaction, even get some support, moral support that is really needed. That's what very important that we have relationship. Uh, when I was, uh, I, I, I was uh, handling the uh, psychological uh, development of Sri Lankan cricket under 19 team a few years ago, so I, I could remember that I, I had a program with them at Kettaram Academy. Usually under 19 teams academy was at Kettaram. So uh, I had one program with uh, one, one such program. I wanted to uh, give, share some, uh, uh, the relationship, the bonding of the relationship uh, lesson uh, to, to the team members of under 19 squad. So, but, what I did was, uh, you know, uh, there's a huge media room at Ketaram. Uh, so, uh, and, and the media room in the ground side, 
there's a huge uh, glass glass and all the other side is totally covered because the media room has to be less of uh, sound and uh, it's uh, soundproof and that media room what i did was with the assistance uh, with my support of my assistant so we i use uh, black color totally black sheets and covered the media room glass where the ground could be seen for the media person that the entire glass was covered from from glass uh, black color papers kalu kadada si aragena me mulu glass ekama media room ekke wahu eta kuda ground ekata kama kut wenne all the other area is fully covered and it's sealed room actually when you enter the media room there are two doors also in order to avoid the sounds coming in but only thing purposely i what i did was in the room i kept a small hole or a kalupata aloko papers wala kaluka me me pane praman eta thara punchi space ekak vitarak empty thiyala then entire room is black fully fully covered so that yeah everything is there even the washrooms the um, uh, water facility and everything is there in the room it's uh, fully luxury room so uh, that particular day one cricketer came late uh, i don't know to name because that boy is playing for the country right now so he was late and what i did was um, i i uh, told him there's a punishment because you are late to the program and i put him in this media room actually he didn't know uh, we set the uh, cct camera on the on the media room and I, it was connected to the place i was doing the program with the it support that we all can see after he went there we switch on our cameras now he was inside we didn't allow him to bring take his uh, mobile phone in so he was in and i told uh, you punishment is you have to be in the media room and you can't take your mobile phone so he went there the media room is a common place they know uh, everything so he went uh, in so he was looking from the cct camera he went in he looked at here and there and he went and got, uh, had a glass of water uh, within 2 3 minutes he uh, was really desperate he was looking here and there then suddenly he saw that he saw the small hole in the black color papers ara kalupata kadada sin wahala tibunu vidure tibunu punchi sidura dakala he went and kept his eye to that hole to see the ground ara ground ek patta balana vidure kalupata kadada sin eliya patta wahala tibuna etana aha tiyala balanawa mokak da kiyala so all the other players were uh, looking at team what he is doing from the uh, from the class actually so he didn't knew that after a while that we switch off everything and now he got him to the classroom and when he came there i asked him what did you do in the room originally he said nothing uh, i just spent some time there then i said uh, i saw that you are uh, watching the ground area he said no everything is uh, covered everything was covered so then later said no i i saw that you are you are keeping your eye to the glass and see yes sir sir me punchi sidurat tibuna ma meke ground ek bihatal man ho monada dakke i saw a few ladies on the ground they are removing i am taking uh, this weeds man the wall palette galona ground ek kotchara api ground ekata turf ekak honda ta hatuwa outer surface ekede purulu avilla me wadala उंडपुलवा So, mang hao tamili kahe mona the value mam value tamili kahe kola hille na. My dear friends, the lesson one lesson that I shared with them is, so people nature the human nature is that, right? Because apita apita niya mo kaya rito yung tema we get sick because the human nature is that we we belongs to families we apita rancho vidya de hadila tina minis so may manusya ka subahe may people live In groups, in teams, 
in families that's what the relationship matters that is the importance of relationship otherwise you feel sick sometimes you feel desperate then he then that now we all are feel a youth if you had a love affair if you break it that you feel desperate and you feel my goodness what uh, sometimes it happens to better man good but if you are in a team that you can bear it if you are living all alone that means with relationships you are dead but you are with people but in relationships you are dead then you become really sick so what is needed is have many positive relationships in order to absorb the changes that's what very important so let me quickly go through some important points on on what type of relationships i basically put this relationship into four baskets one is emotional relationships where the parents and children brothers and sisters and and uh, Uh, and girlfriend and boyfriend husband and wife all those emotional relationships even even you have a pet that is emotional relationships even if you have a pet dog or a cat when you just get into your house after office or after school or after classes lectures he comes and run and jump to you jump to you right etokota mukadde hitten you feel my goodness that is emotional relationships which really really important in our lives so the other side is the formal relationships formal relationship is in official capacity maybe boss and the subordinate maybe the in between coworkers maybe the customer and the uh, sales person or if you are in office or if you are if you are a sales person if you are in counters again with the customers if you are in a school the teachers and you if you are in universities lecturers and you all these are formal relationships but that also matters that also matters because if you just count your time if you are in a school then 6 hours if you are in university little more than that if you are in a employment at least 8 hours in office so that means one third of your day's time is with your office teammates so definitely you have to have good relationships right then the uh social relationships it is with, in the society that you with neighbors with friends uh, with maybe with the servants maybe with relatives even with leo club members or lions club members those are the social relationships in each, each area the relationship level is different even the words that we use is different the the distance personal distance that we keep is different because it is a emotional relationship with your family members it can be so much closer but it when it comes to a formal relationship the distance it is a bit far social relationship it is in between so then the other sector is behavioral relationships it is because of some thing that you have to get done maybe you go and see a doctor you meet nurse you meet a police officer maybe maybe firefighter or any other yeah. maybe the meter reading uh, reader who comes to electricity board or water board or who comes to your place maybe the postman so lot of the, the services that we get from people it creates a behavioral relationships so the entire relationships i have put into four categories but each category the how you are going to develop the relationship is one to one is different but with the, within the time uh, levels but i put everything into one basket and i'll explain seven points but out of these seven points seven points are not equally distributed among each level hama me man katharan isara tiyana seven points gana relationships gana a a hatha එක එක මේ හතරෙන් එක එකට වෙනස් විදිහට තමයි බලපාන්නේ එක තමයි වැදගත් වෙන්නේ so relationship building skills there are some skills so this is the seven seven skills that i am going to describe to you all explain to you all within the given timeline so the interpersonal skills communication skills listening skills empathetic skills emotional intelligence which is really nice and import, uh, important one of my very uh, uh, uh yeah very lovely subject of me in uh, mbs 
networking skills and team building skills. So interpersonal skills is something that we all has to look into. Interpersonal skills. Antara pudgala samanta make a make a tama skill leka. There are uh, some points that which I want to explain. Number one, if you want to improve interpersonal skills, interpersonal skills. In order to improve interpersonal skills, we should have one part here is yourself is intrapersonal, intrapersonal. It is within you. Before we build relationship with others. Number one is we have to build relationship with us within us. Oba oba ta adare karan nata, oba ta tava kene kuta adare karan nata. Oba oba ta kahari sambandha vya tibe nata, oba ta vene kene kika sambandha vya kada gan nata. So it is you, my dear friend. Love yourself. Truly love yourself. Then you have to identify you. Identify the real you. What are the potentials of me? What are the strengths of me? What are the talents? What are the areas for improvement? So look at to all these things. Self. Awareness is really important. So awareness of yourself, then only the others, then only the others. These days I am writing on a uh, uh, on a on a subject area. It is I am calling as uh, emotional stethoscope, and how we are going to <coughs> our own self awareness as well as on others. <coughs> So awareness is really important to build relationship. अपने अंदुना के नीम वेद का माँ अंदुना के नीम सा अनित्य अंदुना के नीम। मैं मैं पो पॉइंट का तावत थैंक ही पे के दी एक्सप्लेन कराना इन लिटिल बिट डीप। Caring about other people, it is something that we have to develop. Care for people, it is really important. Respect people. <coughs> Now, uh, I I requested the uh, the co-host. Uh, uh, For uh, requested requested him to make me uh, him or her I, I didn't I didn't notice but I requested him to make me co-host I sent a message so he did it so I sent immediately a thank you note to him uh, <coughs> so uh, uh, without the, I mean I just put as sir so it is how I always think of so I I said thank you sir then later I realized don't know whether the host is a girl. If it is a girl, extremely sorry, madam. But I thought it must be a boy, so I said, "Thank you, sir." So we are caring is really important. Looked up to everyone. So if you are, if you are giving, you will get what you give. That is the uh, uh, nature of this world. So let's try to give. Caring is something that you have to give. Then you will be cared by Very others. <laughs> Collaborating and working well together with others is really important. I don't know to explain. You all can understand. Collaboration is something that we all go for solutions on win-win basis. Uh, so in in Leo clubs, that's what very important. Leos are for that. Most of these interpersonal relationship skills are developed within the Leo clubs, or rather, Lions club in this movement. Because even even some occasions, I be used to in in offices when I do programs in. In co with corporates, I used to tell sometimes you join an organization, service organization, and work with them in order to change their attitudes and the behaviors and working with people. That is really important. That's what we, uh, when I'm sitting in interview board, sometimes I used to see the CVs, and if that CV carries some notation or or a not with regard saying that I have been a Leo or a Lion or something in that nature, I definitely give preference to them. Because they have experience of working with people, confronting people when they need it, it's really important. When uh, when people need, that's that's what the lions and the leos uh, the, having this beautiful quote. When there is a need, there is a lion or a leo. When there is a need, there is a lion or a leo. So that's what. When there is a need, always there. Just now, just before uh, this session starts, around seven forty, I got a call from India, and they were having a problem with a program for a DG teams, and requested me to be a resource person on this Friday. I had some other program, but I knew that they are desperate for a faculty, and and uh, and they were helpless. So I I said, okay, I have a program, but readjust it, 
and I will join with them. So it is when there is a need, if you have time, if you can adjust yourself, but this is not the given meaning, say yes to everything. You should have the courage to say no, otherwise you will be having problems. The, it is a weakness of people if you continue to say yes to everything. So it is not really developing relationships, it damages relationships also. Conflict management and resolution skill. It is a very good skill in, to build interpersonal relationship. Conflict management is a different subject. Actually, it's normally three hour subject in an MBA program. But, but what I say is how you are going to manage conflict is really important. Conflicts are inevitable. Ogulangi club what conflicts you know any. Lamai hatra denik pasteni ke katunat podi conflicts the conflict ke lakhe ne gahagan ne karne me. So it is basically how we are going to resolve is whether you have to put the thinking whether I'm, I, I am going to win from the conflict, right? Sacrifice in the friendship. That is the question. That is the question that you have to ask. So it, is it worthwhile for a, a conflict? So conflicts are inevitable. So agree for disagreement is the best solution. If you are, if you want to go for resolution skills in a conflict, agree for disagreement. Even now I'm giving this lecture. That's what if any simple disturbance comes, I, I just listen to it. Not because of anything, because maybe there, there can be anyone who doesn't like a point. So I have respect for that. I have listened to that. That's how this relationship building goes on. So the clear communication skill is really important. Communication matters, my dear friend. It is number one. I may touch on that uh, because it is the next point, effective communication skill. Second point is communication skill. So it is really important. Why it is important? Communication means I tell something where the recipient can understand from the way I wanted the recipient to understand. Communication, half communication. So effective communication is really important. Effective communication is that I just told something where the recipient could understood from the way I wanted him to be understood. That is what. So make a different as sender intended. So the, every communication, now I tell all these things with a lot of efforts. I did a lot of homework. I did reassess normally all my layer. If, if, you, if anybody has seen, uh, listened to my lectures, this lecture is only this. If I am to do the, on the same relationship building another lecture, it is somewhat different to the other. So it's, it's my, uh, my thinking of uh, doing presentations because uh, if the same recipient is there, or one or two are there, they should at least learn something new. So I have to be new, I have to be refreshed. So that's what the, uh, my intention on today. So something that you take home, not 100%, but at least five to 10% that you take home and change your life is that learning means behavioral change. Learning means behavioral change. So today, today a learning session. So if something change in your life, that is a end result. That's a, affects the re relationship. If uh, this, this communication skill is developing a relationship, that's what it affects the relationship. Good, effective communication is that and connects you with thoughts and feelings of others. That is really important. When you use a word, it should be a, once you tell a word, it has been said, already gone. You can't get it back. So before you tell anything, you have to think twice. You, you have to think twice. That's what very important to understand. <clears throat> and mutual understanding. I don't know to explain on that, that everyone has to have a, everyone have to have has to have mutual understanding in any any situation. Any situation. We call it reading people. Reading people by looking at eyes, by looking at smile, by looking at their facial expression, even not without any words, you can understand. Ability to get things done as planned. It is a communication. So you, the, that's what very clear communication is really important. And what versus how? That is really important. What versus how? If you get the communication uh, uh, mix, communication mix, only 7% make the difference as words. 
percent, 93% either non-verbal communication or facial expressions or, or the uh, uh, verbal uh, voice, voice, right? So that's what, what versus how is important. More than what you say, how you say is important to have a good communication, effective communication, right? More than what you say, how you say is important. <clears throat> maybe the tone, maybe the pitch, maybe the, uh, the, the mod voice modulation, right? I like you. I like you. The same words, the way that you speak is different. Even you are in my life. I have um, my professional experience is almost 29 years even though I used to call as 24 years my age, but 29 years in my professional experience, I have shouted in my office only five times. I still regret for that. But all the other times I have managed my temper and what I have done is, I have spoken the same words, same words, but with different tones, different tones, so that no one can see that I'm shouting. I'm managing my emotions. That is it. That's what the what versus how. Learn that. That is really important to build strong, effective, positive relationships. So the third point is effective listening skills. Actually, the communications, one important part is listening, actually, right? So the pay attention, give your undivided attention. So right now, also maybe all uh, um, 89, 88 participants are there. So. Uh, Maybe some of you are just having the earphones, some of you are just because the cameras are off, some of you are doing, some of you are looking at your uh, WhatsApp messages, right? It's no harm. I mean, but only thing, your attentive listening is really important because you are going to get something to your life. And, and also the listening skill is a process. It's a process. Acknowledge the message, uh, show that you are listening and provide feedback and and we should not have judgment when you're listening. Sometimes what we think is when we are sitting for a class or a program or something else, we are taking predetermined decisions, then you are listening, Ami, Ami, Katamaki, and then, then make Katamaki, and then so you are not going to listen to anything. Sometimes you take predetermined uh, pre decisions and judgment uh, having in your mind. So having judgments in your mind and you don't listen properly because you are not open mind, because you have a barrier in front of the, the uh, receivings of the information. So information barrier because of the judgment that you have. So don't have any judgment of any anything that you take going to uh, get to you when you are listening properly. Respond appropriately. That is really important, my dear friends, effective listening. That's what I just started with chatting with you all and asking questions and then you, when I get responses uh, uh sorry vishnu extremely sorry uh, i was told uh, so vishnu says uh, explain only in english i don't uh, oh sorry extremely sorry that uh, you are not from uh, sri lanka yes yoshini yes <clears throat> Yes, extremely sorry. I was told at least to explain some points in Sinhalese as well by the organizers, but I will make sure that uh, if I am to explain anything in Sinhalese for the betterment of uh, some of the participants, I will make sure that uh, that uh, you are not penalized and you be getting the real benefit of my presentation. Yes. And uh, the third, uh, fourth point is empathy. <laughs> Empathy is what? Uh, of course, uh, this is a, a deep subject actually, but I, I just put only these three points. Empathy is seen with eyes of another, listening with eyes ears of another, and the feeling with heart of another. That's important. If you learn emotional intelligence and as a subject for MBA or any other, uh, or in management, uh, it is uh, one of the key important area on uh, social awareness, <clears throat> social awareness, empathetic approach. It is really important that we understand the other person. We can understand other person from a sympathetic 
approach, having a sympathetic approach, that is wrong. The most important thing is not sympathetic approach. It should be an empathetic approach. Just think from the way that he is thinking. That's what this, this simple uh, uh, paragraph is saying. Seen with the eyes of another, how would he see? How would he hear? Right? What type of pain that he is going through? If that happens to me, what would my situation? What would be my situation? Once I was driving uh, 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 my vehicle, once uh, a tricer driver behind me is continuously, uh, he is uh, using his own continuously, real disturbance. So uh, I thought I, I didn't have space to give him space to overtake me. So I, I was a little bit uh, uh, uncomfortable, but I thought to myself, normally I practice this 3E concept of identifying people that maybe his education, maybe his environment, maybe his uh, experience is different. So I don't want to worry. So, but the, at the next point, uh, I gave him the space, <laughs> right? I gave him the space, but I felt I could have given earlier when I saw this driver, a three-wheeler driver is carrying a patient to the hospital, patient to the hospital. I thought to myself, my goodness, but I could have space to him for him to overtake me early than I did, than I did. So I was thinking to myself, my goodness, he's taking a patient. What a great gentleman he is. What a great personality. Maybe that he has doing this. Sometimes many three-wheeler drivers do this without any fee. Maybe accident, he see uh, no one is carrying that patient on the road. So he took, he may have taken that patient to his three-wheel and he's taking him to hospital. So he's asking me the space to overtake. I felt very sorry for myself, how bad I am. I could have given space before that earlier because that is the only option that he could have. If it's an ambulance, he would have given. But that is what very important for us to understand. Empathy means understanding from the other person. Some, some explain on this, be in the shoe of the other person to understand him or her better. That is very much important to improve your relationship, my dear friends. If you are, maybe you are something, your father, ask something from your mother. They refuse sometimes. Think from their point of view. Think from their point of view. Sometimes you have a problem with your girlfriend or boyfriend. I'm talking to some elderly. If there are some students, not for you all, but for youths who are about the independent ages. So maybe some problems. Maybe he got late. You, you are having a big problem. Arguments, issues, fights. Think from the other person's point of view. Then the relationship is strong. That's what's very important. Maybe husband and wife. Maybe brothers and sisters. Think of other person's point of view. Maybe a scenario like that three-wheel driver carrying a patient. Yeah, I never thought. I thought this is a man, this is a, some sick person is trying uh, his best to overcome my vehicle. So it is not. So <clears throat> emotional intelligence is fifth point. That how we are going to improve the relationship is. Uh, I, I'm not going to explain on all 20 competencies on emotional intelligence. It's a subject actually. But in very simple way of the emotional intelligence is you understand people from your heart and brain, wisdom and the emotions. <clears throat> you try to understand a person from your heart, from the feelings, but take the decision from your wisdom. It is more than the knowledge. Wisdom is the application of knowledge. Hathavating uh, terundana Understand from the heart and decisions from the wisdom is really important to be illuminated, become a bright star. 
in your life. That is really important. That's what emotional intelligence is. It's true in, 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 in we call it in uh, four clusters in emotional intelligence subject. One is uh, self-awareness, then self-management. It is with regard to intrapersonal. When it comes to interpersonal, we call it social awareness and, and also social skills. So, but not in deep, very simple form. We understand people from our feelings, but decisions are taken from the wisdom. It, that matters a lot. Maybe somebody comes to you. And I, I, I once, um, uh, one, uh, one family came to me for a counseling matter. And uh, a very young couple, of course, the boy was uh, 22 years, the lady was 32 years. <clears throat> and uh, obviously, it is not a, not a discrimination, it is not a matter for me, <clears throat> but uh, they had a lot of other issues. So when I, when I asked them, so individual discussions time, that boy told me, I got married to a lady who is 10 years older to me. I said, then why, you know, if you are, if you have a worry, why now? Why not at not that time? <laughs> I'm not explaining the entire situation. It's a different thing that, uh, but I'm taking this simple side of that uh, as an example. So when I ask him why now you are saying it's a worrying you because 10 year old spouse. Then I ask why you took that decision. Now you are regretting. No, sir, I took the decision only from my heart. When she was divorced, she told all her sad stories to me. So I was carried out with that emotional, sad feelings. Then I took a decision to be with her and married. So we should not take decision only from the heart. That is what is important. If you want to build a strong, positive relationships, you have to take the decisions. Understanding from heart is true. The feelings, emotions is important, but the decision is from wisdom. Wisdom is with three E's. It is with your experiences, maybe somebody else's experience, not only your experiences. Your experiences, as well, your friends' experience, your known people, your parents' experiences, your mother, your father, your uh, grandfather, grandmother, how many experiences that they have gone through, how many times they may have told many stories to you all. Those are experiences. Because smart people learn from their mistakes, wise people learn from others' mistakes. That's why this experience comes into play. So you identify yourself uh, or others from the heart, feelings, and take the decision with wisdom. That is very simple emotional intelligence. The sixth point is networking skills. If you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. That's why the Leos gives you the training. That's how the road track gives you the training. That's how some families have given the opportunity for the family members to live with that. That's what some officers are, so office leaders actually create that environment. Networking is really important, my dear friends. Not only for a business development, your people development, your skill development, personal development, all the thing. Nature is that. By looking at one person, we can learn many things, not copying, not copying anyone, because you are unique. You are the only person in this world. If you are going to compare yourself with another, that is the biggest mistake that you are going to do in life. Don't ever think of, I want to be like my club president, like so-and-so. I want to be like so-and-so. No, you are unique. You are unique. So that's actually very important. But networking skill is not to compare yourself with any other, but to be yourself, learning from others and taking, getting assistance from others. That is really important. Maybe you get motivated from others, looking at others. If he or she can do it, why can't I? Why can't I? Not to copy not to have a competition, not to have a com uh, comparison, but to be yourself and move forward. And the seventh point is team building skill. It is a skill. I don't want to explain each and every point, my dear friends. Team building is 
working towards one goal. Together, everyone achieve more. Team. So, everyone have a role in in that particular. Maybe in the club, maybe in the organization, maybe in your office, maybe in your business, any anywhere, any place. Earlier, we had the concept of in in business management. We described those days as family concept, but now not family concept. It is basically in businesses definitely team concept. So the team has to perform. Every member has to perform. Each and every member uh, has to perform because there can't be passengers in teams. Together, everyone achieve more. So when it is a synergy, my dear friends, it is more than energy. One plus one is more than two. That is synergy. That's what. When it comes to a Leo club, if all of you are working very strongly as one team, you do wonders. You do very creative things. You do excellent work, excellent services, more than lions sometimes. I have been Leo Club by the for five years. I, 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 I would name rather not as an uh, your advisor. I, I was a facilitator to them. I was just listening. They were bright and brilliant. So, uh, because they are very creative, they are very supportive, they are, take very collaborative decisions, they are self-motivated, they find very creative solutions, they have a lot of skills, they are going through many training and also through working itself, they get a lot of training, the experiences they are had. So, what I did was a simple coaching or becoming, um, giving uh, mentoring, that's all. So, the teams are performing. The teams always win champions. Individuals win uh, medals or plaques or gold or rewards, whatever it is, individuals, but the, the teams win champions. So become a championships, a winning champion. So champions are teams. That is really important, my dear friends. Few tips in order to build the relationship. Make a good first impression. You just think if somebody says that if you want to see your girlfriend or a boyfriend for the first time or first day that you want to talk to him for the first time, how many times you are looking at yourself with a boy or a girl from the mirror? How many times you are looking at yourself? So even, even if you are going to the office or if you are going to meet somebody, even today, if you are meeting somebody, even from a virtual platform, also make sure that your impression because you don't get a <clears throat> second chance to create the first impression. <clears throat> it is only sorry, it is only the first time. <clears throat> it is only the first time. So make a good first impression. It is really important because powerful first impression is it is everlasting, everlasting. Um, originally, I thought we are just the short and the tie and be here, but later I thought of maybe a, a great. Leos are joining today. I have to give good respect to them. Right? I have to be on time. Present yourself appropriately. So we have to be yourself. My dear friends, if you want to create a first impression, be yourself. That is really important. So it's, uh, no one can, can say, okay, he's copying so and so. He's imitating so and so. Not that. Be yourself. So have a winning smile. That is really important. Be open and confident. And use small talks, not not uh, a big talkative person. Even though that you are very uh, maybe you were a good speaker, good orator, good uh, debate team member, but make sure that if you want to create first impression, maybe later that you can explain your point of view. But small talk matters to create the first impression. Always be positive and be courteous and attentive. First impression is really important. And all this very important thing is have a winning smile. That is really important. You are not going to lose by smiling. That is really important, my dear friends. If you just uh, looked at my face and continue the timing, at least more than 50 to 60% of my presentation, my smile is on my face. It is obviously because I am confident on the session and also this is how I have practice. Be respectful, my dear friends. Normally, give respect to unrespect. You can't demand respect. 
I have seen sometimes some Leo leaders, sometimes club presidents, sometimes district presidents, district vice presidents, sometimes different leaderships in Lions also. They demand respect. <laughs> they demand respect. But do, uh, I have to give provisions for the uh, Lions and Leo's protocols that has to be managed because that is organizational structural thinking that uh, we have to have all these things. But at the end of the day, you can demand respect. It is something that you have to. Even uh, where recently uh, I went to a Leo program and I'm a district cabinet secretary. So uh, one of the Leo's who introduced, uh, so invited to light in the oil lamp, uh, did the mistake uh, by mistake that uh, uh, that Leo invited uh, another district officer before me to light the oil lamp. So that individual went and uh, did it, and then then only uh, Leo invited me. So I went and lit it. Uh, there is no problem. And but subsequently, two or three people came and said, "They're here." You tell and scold them, and uh, uh, you tell them that they have done something wrong, and because uh, the, they didn't maintain the protocol, I said no. I never, even up to now, I never told them because uh, that uh, you just think for a while that that youth maybe has gone through a lot of pressure in her or his uh, actually a lady her, her mind, and telling this. And reading names, so the mistakes can happen. It is not something that I should be worried of. Who light the lamp first? But only thing it is my personal view. Maybe different views could be there. Therefore, manage all these things. But what I want to tell is, give respect to and respect. That is really important. Once I have a very good experience. When I was a branch manager of a remote area, in fact, in Putla. Um, once I wanted to. Uh, Nearly uh, close to 19 years back, uh, uh, our toilet pit, uh, you know, manage, not the manager have a different uh, quarters, but Chamari is there for all other staff members, boys are living. So one morning they came and told me our, uh, the Chamari's toilet pit is uh, over, uh, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, going out of the tank and a lot of other issues, social issues, uh, bad smell and everything. So then I was thinking to what to do. Then I was a little bit new to that area by that time. Then I called the secretary. They are from that area. They said, all right, I, I, I wanted to get a gully bowser to clean those things. Uh, then they said, no gully bowsers in that town, <clears throat> just 19 years back. Then they said, and then when I asked how this can be done, they said, there are a group of people who are doing this. Uh, they are living in a very close proximity in a small area. I visited that place, my dear friends. Nearly 25 families are living in that small area, just 10, 15 purchased land. Uh, so then I said, immediately send a communication. I told security. Then one boy came with rubber slippers, shorts, with T-shirt, and a very short fellow. And his name was, I still remember, Rajan. And he came and he stood near my glass door. So I told him to come in, but he said uh, he didn't want to come in and he was standing in front of my door. So I got up and went to the door and opened the door and I said, uh, sir, you come and sit. In a single case, I spoke to him, and uh, then he was standing. I was also standing next to him. So I wanted him to sit first before I'm sitting. So uh, then I wanted, I again, I repeated it all him, sir, please be seated. Please be seated. Then I put a tap to him and said, You won't believe. He shouted and started crying. I was shocked. Then I asked what the mistake I did. He was shouting and crying. He was crying. And then he told me, Sir, I am 34 years of age. I am 34 years of age. This is the first day in my life somebody called me as Mahathya, sir. You won't believe. I also cried. I also cried. I, I couldn't bear that uh, feeling because a gentleman who would do a job that any other can't do, no one has called him as a Mahathya. So I called him. You won't believe. Uh, he did the job. 
and he got a very small uh, fee for his uh, job. Not only that, he canvassed me 64 accounts as a bank manager, not my, not even my staff members has canvassed large number of accounts for me. So the small thing, I respected him. So I, I never, I respected not to get canvas account through him, but I, I, if you give respect, definitely you get the better results. So always the relationship matters. So my dear friends, just to break the uh, monotonous, just uh, re respond me uh, how many, uh, uh, what, what is the age of this, what is the age of this lady that you see in this picture? Your response. What is the age of this lady? Any responses? Yes. Jerome says late twenties. Yes, Jerome. Thank you very much, Jerome Pereira. Always Pereira is in the forefront. <laughs> Not so. Uh, I'm just joking as I am also Pereira. Right? B2 Leo, Jessica, President. Yes, thirty. That's yes, very good. Good guessing. Huh? So Jerome says twenty. <coughs> Jessica says thirty. <coughs> Any other responses? Very quickly. I will take another 10 minutes to close. <laughs> Udumbara, very nice. Udumbara, name is nice. And <laughs> answer is 60, very good. Excellent. <laughs> and Pramod uh, and Sanika. Sanika Sandamali. Sanika Sandamali says, one is 20, the other one is uh, 70. Uh, Anjali Subhashini says 65. Pramod Sian says, about 60s and late 20s. Vintage 30s. <laughs> it uh, represents both young and adult ages. That is Yoshini Galabada. Santosh Balakuma says 30s. Right. Good, good, good. Very good. <clears throat> yes, my dear friends, there are two. Uh, now, Many of you see uh, so that uh, one person, uh, when somebody says one, uh, first says there are two, then others also think in the way the other person is. If not, everyone see only the one person. So the younger person whom you saw is looking at this, this side, right? You, you see my cursor. And this is a nose, uh, this girl, very young girl. This is an eyelash. This is a chin. This is a neck. This is a necklace. This is a ear, ear, right? And if you want to see the old lady, where seventies or eighties, this is an eye. This is the other eye. This is a nose. This is a mouth. This is a chin. Old lady looking this side. The young girl is looking that side. So, what is important here is. We tend to believe what we see. We tend to believe what we see. But sometimes, very difficult for us to understand what the other person sees. Other person sees. That's what we have to learn from our life. So the other important thing is, because uh, why, you know, why I told this is, if you want to build relationships, you have to understand the other person could have another view. Respect for that. That is really important. Respect for other person's views. That is important. Agree for disagreement. So the doing the job beyond expectation is really important. I always believe the wow factor. Wow, he has done excellence. Now he's doing great way. Excellent. So doing, doing something more than expected is really important. May, maybe in your office, maybe in your education, maybe in your class, maybe in your lectures, maybe you are doing a service project, maybe in your Lion, Leo club, do something beyond expected. Maybe you have been given an opportunity to organize a service project. Maybe visiting to a, a orphanage, children home. So don't just go there and give something and come back. Make some creative difference. 
So it is beyond the expected level. I do many times. I have practices. I enjoy it. When you enjoy it, you do many new things. That is really important. That's what very important. Success largely depends on the relationship you build along the journey. Everyone needs to be success in their life. That is really important. So this important point is sustaining the relationship. You build the relationship. Today, my focus is on building relationship where I have already completed. This is the bonus today I'm sharing with you all. When you build the relationship, it is really important sustaining the relationships. So the attention to people, communicate openly, appreciate each other, extend yourself. That means you always ready to offer your help, extend yourself and volunteer to do work, right? And challenge each other. Challenge each other is for positive development, for the development, for the betterment of each other. Challenge the process is one of the key important leadership skill. And back each other to, to go up in the ladder. So that together we all are working. That's how the relationship matters. These points are very important to sustain the relationship. So I took all my time to explain the building relation because my focus on the session. So I have completed that. This is a bonus, which I'm telling you, you build the relationship, but then you need to maintain the relationship. Sometimes we fail maintain the relationship. Sometimes uh, maybe a love affair, we fail because attention to each other is not there. Respect to each other is not there. We are not extending ourselves to the another is not there. So the positive challenges is not there, all these negative challenges is there. We are not appreciating each other. So the relationship fail. We are not communicating openly. So the challenge is that. So the when relationship get messy, right? Then take time to listen. Put the other person's shoes. That is empathy actually. I'm Because when the relationship having challenges, take time to listen, first listen. Be on the other person's side, understanding. Maybe he, he may have done this. He may have got late because of that. He may have spoken to me like that because of this. Try to understand from another person's point of view. Look at what is true. That is really important. Not what you think. Not what you see as you saw previously. Maybe other person would see another, another picture, another view. So look at what is true. That is really important. More than what you see. Emotions does not equal in reality. Uh, you can't just think of my emotion level and the other person is same. Definitely different because individuals are totally different. We are unique and emotion levels are different. So understand that. You can't tell. If, if I feel uh, have a pain, he also should have the pain. Not that. With regard to relationships of boys and girls, husbands and wives, there's a book we call Men's from Mars and women from Venus. This is not a time to explain that the difference between a girl and a boy, different between a gent and a lady, different between husband and a wife, totally different. So understand that difference if you want to build a relationship in that. I explain relationship four types. This girl and boy relationship, husband and wife relationship, only on the emotional relationship side, right? Appreciate and respect, it is really important. If the relationship is messy or a problem, to revive it positively, you have to appreciate and respect. If it is a mistake on your part, accept it. That is really important. Speak from your heart, that is really important. But the decision from your brain, wisdom. Make sure to take decisions from your wisdom. And don't give up principles, the values, virtues, the, your qualities, don't give up those. Be on to your values. Live to your inner conscious. Don't do anything. If you are not in a position, go and tell it to your mother. I'm just telling you. Because if you do something that you are not in a position, tell it to your mother, that is something wrong that you're doing. Don't give up principles. That is really important. Hanging there. Hanging there is sometimes, even in the difficult relationships, be whole for a while, some problems, some issues resolve with the time. But I think you can't allow time to resolve everything also. 
you have to take all these action steps and also you have to think wisely and take decisions not only from the heart when you are in so much of pain or when you are in so much of happiness when you are in so much of love don't take decisions in any relationship you have to take the decision from the wisdom that is really important relationship always create an us <clears throat> relationship always create an us that means togetherness all without destroying me you have to keep your me there but keeping yourself the uniqueness of you but you are building relationship with many others to make a be a successful individual that's what very important finally i'll tell you one thing when you have a problem i'm just referring this to leo's leo clubs but even in life you can ask why if any problem issues comes why why is a problem technique of japan and also we 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 i i used to teach them in mba classes for mba students um, on problem one of the problem as one of the problem uh, problem solving techniques <coughs> why and uh, this is for leo so also why did i become a leo why did i become a leo because you became a leo to build your relationship take have experiences have your improved knowledge and take create in opportunities for your leadership and improve your leadership skills right leadership experience opportunities so if it is to fight why leaders if it is to gossip why leaders if it is to do politics why leaders if you just take revenge why leaders <clears throat> i'm just asking even you can apply for a office even if you can apply for a, your uh, or your school or you are any any association you are in any organization you are in, you apply if it is to fight because i have just put few uh, negative elements taking us out of positive relationships fighting gossiping politics and taking revenge and negative feelings are taking us out of positive relationships but if it is to serve be a leo if it is to love be a leo if it is to be a quality leader be a leo if it is to have friends be a leo if it is to have real happiness which is the purpose of life be a leo so we have to decide where you we should be you should be it is our decision now we all are independent people independent citizens about 18 years of age majority so you uh, when you are going to school your parents were behind you always talk to you all and give a lot of guidance and also teachers were behind you now even still your teachers also parents love and give advices but now you have become independent so now the small change in your life is you have to take decisions for the betterment of your life not because not only because your parents says because all take the decisions what you take in your life the results are also with you so that's what very important you decide where you should be that is what we want to do so i wish all and all of you all to be great individuals i spoke to you on seven elements to become a, a, a positive relationship how you are going to build positive relationship with seven elements and then i explain a very important few uh, tips which is really important including the creating first impression then i just gave two bonuses to you all how you are going to sustain the relationship that you have built and when it becomes messy how you are going to uh, rebuild the relationship finally i told you why problem solving technique taking the examples as yours i'm taking this opportunity to thank each and every one of you thanks to the organizers uh savin who communicated with me a lot of time and nearly i think a large number of uh uh, uh whatsapp messages with him in fact uh, still i have not seen him uh thank you very much savin and all the leos who has joined today for this session uh i think you will get something to your life that is really important my difference because this your life uh, matters your life matters to you it is your journey
not somebody else's your innocent parents or your your relatives your teachers would have a, a very simple and uh, very innocent uh, satisfaction uh, of you uh, but the real happiness re remain with you i take this opportunity to wish wholeheartedly all of you all success in your life building very positive relationships in your life it drives you in your life if you have any challenges in personal level for me to speak to i be ready to support within the uh, within my personal timings uh, if i didn't answer you can send me a text message then i would i would call back and respond if you have a real personal issue of with regard to the subject area if not um, it organizes within the timelines uh, i am ready to answer any questions if there are thank you and over to you uh, wonderful uh, moderator dasuni gamage thank you very much for sharing all those relationship skills with us bro well. uh, i'm sure most of us who are already tired of having unwholesome relationships build some hope to upgrade our relationships to positive ones and build new ones Uh, now, if anyone has questions, I'm sure our guest speaker today, Deshmande Lai and Dr. Jeevan Tapanera, would be pleased to answer them. You can put your questions to chat box, or you can uh, speak it out. So I have received one uh, direct message. So if we have negative relationships, and uh, if we can't get over it. what should we do uh there can be different type of negative relationships one is uh, so uh, maybe challenging relationships also we put as negative one is unethical relationships of course if it is unethical relationship you have to say no and stop that is no second word and that's what i told you <clears throat> we should learn uh, to say no but only thing how you say no is really important uh, sometimes uh, if i get an example uh, <clears throat> maybe you uh, there are two types one is maybe you found a maybe boy one of the boys or a girl so you find a one of your girls a girl find a girl boy find a boy as friends right so after a while you see uh, he is having a different will think for a while examples are uh, easier to explain maybe uh, a boy find a, another friend but he is a drug addict so it's a negative relationship so sometimes you feel uh, face problems you face some challenges sometimes uh, he would put you also in difficulty with that relationship so uh, how we are going to convert that as a positive relationship is help him to come out from that issue uh, it's little bit challenging but still you can uh you can do it uh, i'm just taking a simple example so some negative relationships you can convert to positive relationships but if it is unethical relationships you have to say no uh and you should know how you should say no that's what very important sometimes the way that you say no would hurt the other person and there can be lot of clashes and issues and lot of negative uh, reactions would happen once one boy uh, girl say no to a boy as uh, uh, she realized later it is a negative relationships uh, relationship and and said no the way she said no was uh, not proper ultimately to uh, sacrifice her life that uh, the statement that she made saying no so those are challenging things only thing that if you if any of you have challenges in that nature only thing do, uh, uh, i would say uh, challenges or the conflicts so problems are there that those are inevitable but every problem have solutions every problem has solutions at least i would say more than one solution right more than one solution so only thing sometimes you would see only one type of a solution but if you get assistance from a trusted friend or a trusted person little bit matured person or whom you can trust talk to them and ask 
and then <clears throat> you will find many solutions many solutions so then of course you will find a way how you can say no to a, another person that is really important uh, no in the sense not only a, a, a love affair even to any other matter so relationship is even even maybe that you find a, a immediate superior in your office <clears throat> he's a totally negative person it's a negative relationship always or scold you a negative relationship so how you are going to convert that so it is depending on your situation you can convert the negative relationship to positive then how you are using words how you are acting according to the situation is up to you even sometimes once uh, very recently one of the participants in a forum uh, asked me uh, he uh, that young uh, that youth uh, bring lot of creative ideas in his office but always boss get the credit not him the he the his boss take his message and takes to go and tell the directors i created this i do this so this boy was really desperate so i said don't be uh, this is your experience journey he was just 23 years but when you become a boss don't do that number one and number uh, two that learn how you are going to shine yourself there can be a moment that anybody can see how you are performing how you are doing it so it is the time resolve those type of things you should not be totally negative but you can convert many negative situations to a positive if you are really positive and look in up things positively that's a short answer i can give you there thank you sir <clears throat> i hope no more questions will rise up so Uh, dear sir thank you very much for spending your valuable time to speak to us on the very important topic of positive relationship building which is a very timely topic for the children and young people who are present here today with us i'm sure your speech must have done a great positive impact on their relationship building and maintaining indeed the relationship relationship skills you mentioned really inspired us to build many more comfortable relationships and the team building tips were also really interesting Once again, thank you very much for making this program a memorable one, sir. As for the next most important event, it's with great pleasure that I invite Leo Minoli Pereira, District President, Leo District Three Hundred Six B One, to deliver the special guest speech. Good evening, Leo. So, uh, first of all, uh, with the uh, our guest speaker today, our uh, Okay. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, am I audible to you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, with our own uh, very special guest speaker today, Deshwane Lion, Doctor Jeevanth Pereira. Uh, actually, he is a, a rare gem to us, and uh, today it is my even I mean, I'm honored to be here. uh to listen i have i have been to so many programs with him like behind him as a district president as a leo and even till today i'm even like getting inspiration from him because uh, even we have as leaders leo leaders as a district president even today we have things to learn from him and uh, his uh, uh the explanations of how you build a positive relationship is very important to our nowadays leos because even we do get uh, so many obstacles when building the relationship among our club members district members and with our own colleagues so i think uh, you all uh, especially our organizing team has done a marvelous job in organizing this project especially inviting a very good guest speaker because uh, he is not as on my own uh, lion actually uh, lion uh, cabinet secretary and uh, he was my uh, leo advisor uh, not only that but he is a really rare gem to sri lankan lions and leos and i think you will get this uh, these uh, advices uh, to build your positive relationship 
among you all to drive through the excellence of your own clubs in your own district and to be very uh, valuable citizens of our Sri Lanka and to act as the responsible Leos. So thank you so much Leos for the uh, invitation extend to me and uh, you did a great job and a nice session. Uh, thank you everyone. Uh, hope uh, you all enjoy today's session. A massive thank you to the district president of Leo District Phenotics B1, Leo Minoli Ferrero. Uh, looking at photos later help us to remember more about special occasions we participated. So as a memory of this wonderful session, I would kindly invite you all to switch on your cameras to capture a screenshot. Thank you very much. Here we come to the concluding part of today's program. I would like to invite Leo Dihindu Herat to deliver the vote of thanks. A very good evening to uh, all. I am honored and humbled to propose the vote of thanks of the year. As we have to come to the end of the second exclusive webinar of excellence, let me make a few remarks and express my heartiest gratitude to all for making time to attend excellence, the youth empowerment program. A mentor is someone who sees more talent and ability within you than you see in yourself and helps to bring it out of you. On behalf of everyone present here today, let me give my special thanks to our mentor, mentor guest speaker today's session, Deshamane Lion, Dr. Jeevant Pereira, MJF, MAF, LCIP, JP, JP, District Cabinet Secretary 21-22, Lions District 306, Beat 1. And also, I would like to express our sincere thanks to our special guest, Leo Minoli Pereira, District President, Leo District Seat Note 6, B1, and Leo uh, Tatsar Rajpaksha, District President, Leo District 306, B2, for making this event more special with their presence. Next, I want to make this a chance to show my gratitude to Leo Club of Colombo Downtown Alliance, Leo Club of UOC Alumini, Leo Club of Colombo Monarch, Leo Club of Nikambu Katamaran, Leo Club of Colombo Grand City, Leo Club of Makola, Leo Club of Atugalpura, Leo Club of Dharampal Vidyale, Panipiria, for organizing this valuable session and joining together to make this a success. And next, I extend my hands of gratefulness to all the Leos present here today. Without you, this will not be possible. I warmly extend my thanks to each other, everyone who were behind and gave their best to successfully conclude the second excellent webinar. So once again, thank you all for your valuable presence. Stay safe. Good night. Thank you, Leo Dihindu Herat. Every event has its end, and now we have also reached the end of today's program. We hope this program organized by the Excellence Youth Empowerment Project team must have made a very positive impact on your relationship building and maintaining in the best possible way. Furthermore, we hope this program would take you to a step where many more healthy relationships will be made, which can spread smiles on each and every face. Let's say cheers to many more healthy relationships. Thank you very much for joining with us today. Stay safe, stay healthy. Have a good night.